What's up guys, Mr. Andy here. In today's video, I'm going to show you 5 different tips and tricks that you can use to speed up your Samsung Galaxy devices. Well, it's like activating beast mode in your Samsung device. Guys, I'm using Samsung Galaxy A15 in this video, which is a mid-range device from Samsung. But you can apply all these settings in any of your Samsung devices, no matter if it is running Android 9 or even Android 10. You will definitely notice much difference in the performance of your device. With that being said, make sure you guys watch this video till the very end. Also, the likes target for this video is 800 likes. I know you guys will do it. So drop a like and let's get started. Alright guys, first thing that I do whenever I use a Samsung device, I just turn off all the animations. All you have to do is go to your settings, about phone, here you will find this option called software information. Just select it and then tap on the build number for 7 times. Once you have done this, now you will have this developer option in your settings. Just go to the developer option and scroll it down till you get this animation option. Guys, turn off all the 3 different animations that you will get in developer option. Once you have done this, now you will instantly notice some difference in the performance of your device. Your smartphone will feel much smoother and snappier. So if you're really not a fan of these animations, then I will highly recommend you to turn it off and you will instantly notice much difference in the performance of your device. Next up, let's talk about the device care that we get in Samsung devices. If you go to settings and then to device care, here you will find this option called optimize now. Guys, I will highly suggest you to optimize your smartphone once in a while. But if you don't want to do it manually every time, all you need to do is tap on these three dots and enable auto optimization. Once you have done this, it will automatically optimize your smartphone once in a day for you. If you want, you can also select the scheduled time. I set it to 3 am since I don't use my smartphone during that time. Guys, definitely turn on this setting. It will surely improve the performance of your device. Now the next trick is to limit the background processors. Guys, just go to the developer options and scroll it down till the very end. You will find this option called background processors limit. It will set to standard limit by default, but I will recommend you to keep it to at most 4 processors. With the option of 4 processors, what it will do is, it will only keep your most recent applications that you are using and it will automatically close all other unnecessary stuff that are running in the background. Well, it does helps you to speed up your smartphone. Next up, we have one super useful trick related to in-display fingerprint scanner. Well, we all know that the in-display fingerprint scanner that we get in Samsung devices is quite slow when compared with other competition that we have. But if you really want to speed up your in-display fingerprint scanner and make it much faster, all you need to do is just go to your settings, biometrics and security, go to fingerprint and register your same fingerprint or your thumb for 3 times. So basically, you will need to register your same fingerprint for 3 times. Once you have done this, now you will notice that your in-display fingerprint scanner works faster than before. Definitely try it out guys, it is super useful. Alright guys, for the last trick, I will be using Samsung Galaxy Note 10 because this trick will only work in Samsung high range smartphone. So in case, if you have a device like Samsung Galaxy Note 10, S10 or even S9, you can apply this setting to speed up your smartphone. All you need to do is, go to your settings and search power mode. Here you will find 4 different modes like high performance, optimize, medium power saving and maximum power saving. If you want to improve the performance of your device, make sure you select high performance. Once you select this option, your device performance will boost and you will notice a major difference in the performance of your device. So if you really want to improve the performance of your flagship smartphone, then make sure you turn on this option. So that's pretty much it guys. These are 5 different ways which will help you to improve the performance of your device. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.